I unknowingly became the father figure, for my next door neighbor's son and his mom asks me out on a date. Plus one update. Three years ago a woman named Cassie 32F and her son Kenny 13 meters, moved into the apartment next door. They had a few boxes, so I figured I'd 31 meters, offer to help and get off to a good start. I noticed Kenny had a PS4 so I told him that I game as well, and he was free to come over and play my systems anytime he wanted if his mother allowed it. I have a PS5, Switch and PC as an FYI. Since I'm a mechanic, I told Cassie if she had car trouble she could come to me anytime since I help out a lot of other people on the floor with their cars as well. She accepted. I didn't really interact with either Kenny or Cassie besides a few haze for a few weeks initially. But a little more than a month after moving in, Cassie knocked on my door and asked if I could check her car because the engine wasn't turning over. Turns out the spark plugs needed to be changed, which was easy enough to do. Cassie was very thankful for my help and offered to pay, but I told her it was no problem. She invited me to dinner with her and Kenny and I was hesitant to accept, but she insisted on it. The next day we had dinner and it was a good time. I learned a lot about her and talked to Kenny more. He's a good kid, really into games, science and his guitar. We even all went over to my place for some Mario Kart. From then on I got really close to Kenny, I viewed him like a little brother. He came over to play my games almost every day, and I even started teaching him about cars. I've even brought him to my shop to introduce him to tools. He's a quick study and he even told Cassie he wants to be a mechanic like me. I told him to aim higher and become an engineer. He's now even looking into engineering programs. I think Cassie really appreciated our relationship. She became a lot more friendly with me. I got COVID during lockdown and out of the kindness of her heart she brought me groceries, cleaned my apartment and even took care of me. I was totally grateful. She even cooks dinner for me every night, and we all have dinner together. She even makes dinner for me when I work late and leaves it in my apartment. The other day Kenny brought one of his friends over to his apartment. I met the friend and he said this is op, he's like my dad. Not gonna lie, that took me by surprise. I always viewed Kenny as my little brother, but here he is saying that I'm like a dad to him. I asked Cassie about this, and she seemed surprised I even asked. She said that she would never force that role on me, but that he did view me as his father. He even hoped that me and Cassie would get together so that we can be a real family. Cassie then said she wouldn't mind that either. I asked her if she was asking me out, she just smiled and said yes. I was surprised, but said okay. We have a dinner date this weekend, and I'm nervous as all hell, I don't want to ruin things with Cassie and or Kenny. I really do love both of them. But I'm not sure how I feel about being the father figure for Kenny, it's a lot of responsibility and I'm not entirely sure I'm the guy for that. And Cassie, she's a really amazing woman. I just hope I can measure up to her expectations. In just asking Reddit, are my worries unfounded? Should I put some boundaries between me and Kenny? How do I not screw up with Cassie? Update, 10 days later. Hey all, thanks for all the nice comments on the first post, it's weird being complimented so much, but I guess I like it lol. So here are some things to clarify before the update. People were asking me if I'm actually attracted to Cassie, and the answer is yes. She's one of the strongest, nicest, most considerate people I know. She constantly puts people before herself and I always wish that someone would put her first for once. And did I mention that Cassie is super pretty? I guess I just never thought Cassie would find me attractive or be interested in me that way. Now the update. I was nervous as hell all week leading up to the date on Saturday. During our usual family dinners, Cassie smiled at me a lot more, I don't think Kenny noticed since he was too busy playing on his phone. Cassie not so subtly suggested to Kenny 13 meters, that he go spend a weekend with his grandparents. He didn't really want to, but she pretty much pushed him out the door lol. On Saturday evening I knocked on Cassie's door and she opened it up wearing an absolutely beautiful dress. I broke the tension and asked if that dress was for me, she laughed and we went on our way. The evening was a little awkward at first, but when we were walking to the restaurant she grabbed my hand and smiled at me and it sort of got rid of the awkwardness. From there the evening went amazingly. We talked, laughed and had a great dinner. I asked her what made her change her mind about me, and she said it was the previous Christmas. For reference, Cassie is a hard-working single mom and Kenny has all of his needs met and more. But she can't afford to get him the best, and it really hurts her that she can't. She really wanted to get him a PS5 since he was begging for one, but couldn't justify the cost. Since I have disposable income, I hunted for months, checking stock drops until I finally got one. I then surprised Kenny with it on Christmas and told him it was from his mom. Cassie was shocked and even started crying. Kenny was so excited he didn't even notice her crying. All she could tell me was thank you repeatedly. Apparently that made her realize that she wanted me in both of their lives forever. 
She tried to deny her feelings, but it didn't work. The conversation the other day was the opening she needed to finally confess how she felt. After dinner we went back to her place for a nightcap. We talked a lot about relationship expectations and how we wanted to proceed. We agreed to be exclusive, to take it slow and not to tell Kenny about anything until we're sure that this relationship is real and strong. We don't want to give him unrealistic expectations. She also said that her calling me as dad was too much too soon and she apologized for it. She said it was wishful thinking on her part and probably would have weirded out most people. She said to accept any role with Kenny that I wanted, but she hoped that I would see Kenny as a son eventually. Sorry to disappoint everyone, but we didn't do the deed. We decided that it was much too soon. We did however have a buzzed makeout session lol. The following day we went for brunch and decided to go apple picking. It felt damn good to be walking hand in hand with someone you care about and taking lots of pictures doing silly things. At our family dinner yesterday Cassie sat close to me and was rubbing her foot on my leg. I don't think I've ever been more turned on in my life lol. I'm not gonna lie guys, I think I'm falling for Cassie and falling hard. Well anyway I think that's it, we're together now and hopefully this lasts. I don't think I want anyone else. Cassie is everything one could want in a partner, and I hope that I can be worthy of her. She's a really special person. My girlfriend just sent me roses to my workplace and I don't know what to do with myself, 1.5 years later. Okay in the break room at my work and I'm grinning like an idiot and I don't know what to do with my hands so I'm typing this out to get rid of all this nervous energy. I work as a mechanic and my boss called me over to the office. I thought I fucked up somehow, but he had a big ass bouquet of roses on his desk. He told me, this is for you. I was like WTF, but I read the card attached and it said, just because, love GF. My boss laughed at me and told me I had a good one and to not fuck it up lol. He did say he'd have to give me shit for it, but he's happy for me. Sure enough the boys on the floor ripped me to shreds once they heard about it. But I didn't care, I was like floating lol. Now I'm on my break and I can't stop thinking about how much this completely caught me off guard. Can someone please talk me down from going out to buy her a ring after work lol? Edit. Hey everyone, I'm finally off work and I'm still really flustered, but I think I've calmed down lol. I don't think I'm gonna get her ring today, but I have to do something, problem is I don't know what. She deserves absolutely everything, but I can't think of anything that would equal this. I do have an idea of taking her on a last minute romantic getaway this weekend.